name is Michael Tissera and I'm a New Orleans writer and author and I wrote the book The Kingdom of Zydeco. The simplest explanation is that Zydeco music uh, is the music of African American, African Caribbean Creoles of Southwest Louisiana that, that, that reflects the roots in African and African Caribbean song traditions. Cajun music uh, reflects the Acadian uh, roots of its music, the Cajun roots of its music, uh, white Cajuns coming down from current day Nova Scotia. But that's uh, almost completely incorrect you know, because they are so interrelated um, that you know, Zydeco music and Cajun music and Zydeco musicians and Cajun mus musicians grow up together, they listen to each other, they play each other's music, they borrow each other's songs, they borrow each other's stylings. So while it is important to, to talk about the difference between Zydeco and Cajun, it's also important to realize that the music is deeply, deeply interrelated. Uh, going all the way back to Ardouin, uh, Amade Ardouin, the great Creole accordion player, and Dennis McGee, the great Cajun fiddler, making their first seminal recordings together that have influenced Cajun, Zydeco, Creole, and, and really all roots music. The stars of the Zydeco band are the accordion, the piano key accordion, the diatonic button accordion, alongside the foitois or the rub board, which interrelates with the rhythm guitar and the drum to create that wonderful polyrhythmic sense that reminds you, first and foremost, Zydeco is a dance music. Well, it's prairies and bayous, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, you often hear, you know, thank, thank, thank you Hank Williams for a great song, uh, you know, that we're down on the bayou here. Um, but it's also the, the large, expansive prairies uh, to, the, to the north of here around, uh, you know, and, and so, so that brings a, a cowboy culture as well. You know, you, you'll see people dancing in cowboy boots and cowboy hats. Uh, you'll see people riding horses out on trail rides. Um, and that, that infuses the music if you listen to Buzu Chavis um, and you think horseback, you're going to hear some of his songs more clearly than if you don't realize that that's a man that, that goes out, that went out, uh, sadly he's gone now, that, you know, that went out on horse, that broke horses for a living, uh, that is part of the sort of cowboy culture here, uh, part of the prairie culture of, of South Louisiana. Um, and when you hear a song like Go to La Maison, you, you hear that loping horse beat uh, of, of his songs, and it's absolutely right, right in his music. The reason why Zydeco music is different from anything else you could hear is because Creole culture in Louisiana is different than any other kind of culture. The flavors, the sounds, the, the stories, the language uh, are all unique and all in form a very unique sound. So you hear. Nathan Williams is a perfect example of this. When he sings Follow Me Chicken, I'm Full of Corn, whether he's singing in English or in French, or Alligator Sauce Pecan, there are folk tales and legends and stories that are woven into every line that he sings. So while he's a, a wholly original writer and, and songwriter, uh, he's drawing on a wealth of cultural material that goes back to stuff that he heard growing up as a child. And that continues forward with, with, really, with every Zydeco song that you hear. The music is often, especially the early the early songs like Paper in My Shoe and Zydeco Sopasole are songs about poverty and they're songs about overcoming poverty with spirit uh, and, and soul and, uh, and uh, uh, a, a, a stubborn desire to, to keep on moving forward in your life even when there's a lot trying to hold you back. It is a dance music and it is a, it is a culture that expresses itself through dancing that comes together, that's created. Uh, the dance floor culture is created by the bands, created by the music. If you didn't have the music, you didn't have the, in, you know, going into the trail rides, going into the church socials, going into the dance halls, if you didn't have all this stuff bringing people together, this area would start to look, sadly, like a lot of other American towns, fractured, not communicating quite so much with each other, not quite enjoying each other quite so much, not coming together the way that people come together here.